dating in my 20s, later 20s, was not as exciting as dating when I was like a late teenager and early 20s. Partly because I had started my career, so I had very little time to spare and um, it just it just didn't feel as, as serendipitous, you know what I mean, or spontaneous as dating when I was in my early 20s. <laughs> but dating in my 40s is, was, is the worst experience ever. I mean, I don't know what happened uh, between... 2000 and when did I get married now? I don't know what happened between 2008 and 2018, but something really bad happened because um, when I started dating again in 2019. Uh, and I only I only tried dating for um, what was it two months? I had the like rudest shock ever. It wasn't just the questions people ask, and I was wondering whether it's it's because I I, I live in Singapore and maybe there's something wrong with the people when when, when people come here. I, I thought there was something really wrong. Like the first question I was asked, and I'm Singaporean by the way. The first question I was always asked on a date was, what do you do? What's it to you? What do I do? <laughs> uh, I'm not charging you for my time. You're not charging me for my time. Like, is there a problem? You know, are you a gold digger? And it turned out that actually people just want to know what you're doing for a living to, to see their ranking, in a way. I had one very rude date. He's very rude. He was like the nightmare. You know, actually, I thought he was so promising, but he was like the night nightmare on Elm Street. And he ended up telling me on my second date, I should go out with an older man and leech off him. And I was thinking, what in the world? And then I realized he's the one that wants to leech off people. 